What we think of as sound is actually a vibration. So our voices vibrate the air, and then our ears feel that vibration and interpret it as sound. On Mars, the atmosphere is a very different composition than it is on Earth. And it's actually a cooler temperature because Mars tends to be a little bit colder. Because of the differences between Earth air and Mars air, we would experience sound on the surface of Mars very differently than we would on Earth. Uh, the first major difference is that the speed of sound is very different on Mars than it is on Earth. It's actually slower. Sounds are going to be really quiet as, as, as compared to what we're used to on Earth, and that's because the Martian atmosphere is less dense. There's just fewer molecules to move, so we have to work harder to move them. So something that would sound very clear and loud to us on Earth would have to be much closer to us on Mars to be something that we could hear. Another big difference between Earth and Mars sound is that pitches would actually sound different. So we would hear uh, lower pitch sounds much more loudly than we would hear higher pitch sounds. And that would sound really strange to us. And that's just because of the composition of the Martian atmosphere. I've been talking a lot about what we might sound like if we were talking on the surface of Mars, but of course, I hope we would all be wearing helmets because we cannot breathe the atmosphere of Mars. So within our helmets, we would probably have radios and we'd be able to communicate with each other and the sounds within our helmets should sound just like they do on Earth because we have a little Earth atmosphere around our heads. If you were to lose your helmet on the surface of Mars, you'd probably start screaming because you know you wouldn't really be able to breathe very well and you'd want to get help. But on Mars, people can't really hear you scream because not only are sounds quieter, so you're gonna have to scream even louder, but your high-pitched screams would be much quieter to our ears. We can learn a lot by listening to sound on Mars. And the first thing that we can really learn about is the atmosphere itself because we can listen to how sound propagates through there. Things like dust devils and wind are all things that happen in the atmosphere and we can hear those. Another thing that we can do is just refine our understanding of the Martian atmosphere and how it propagates sound. Right now, we have theoretical ideas about how it would sound, but we don't have any real-world recordings, so this will be the first time we'll get those. <laughs> 